It's Bible time. Huh? It's Bible time. It's Bible time. It's Bible time. It's Bible time with Aunt JJ. It's Bible time with Aunt JJ. It's Bible time with Aunt JJ. That's me. Get your Bible if you have one, because it's time to study the Bible together. The Bible is God's Word. God helped me write it so we can know for sure that everything in it is completely true. We've been reading about how the Israelites needed to be saved from the nations that were ruling over them and how everyone needs to be saved from sin. God made the way for us to be saved. We learned that God sent His Son, Jesus, to earth as a baby. Angels told the good news that the Savior had come. The shepherds told other people the good news about Jesus. Today, we're going to learn about something that happened when Jesus was a baby. I'm going to show you some drawings related to our passage today. See if you can guess what is happening in each of the drawings. Here's the first one. Can you guess who these people are? Can you guess what they are doing? Okay, here's the next one. Can you guess who these people are? What do you think they are doing? What about this one? Who are they? What are they doing? Great job guessing what you think happened. I'll go ahead and explain the first drawing. At this point in history, Jesus had been born. God's law had instructions for what to do when a baby was born. Leviticus 12 records that 40 days after a baby boy was born, specific offerings had to be made. The first picture shows Mary, Joseph, and Jesus on their way to Jerusalem to give their offerings at the temple. Let's read and see what the other drawings represent. I'm going to read from the book of Luke. Luke comes after Mark in the New Testament and is a book of the Gospels. The Gospels record the good news of Jesus' life on earth as a man. Luke records true things that really happen with real people. While I read my own paraphrase of some of Luke 2, verses 25 to 40, see if you can figure out who was in the drawings and what they were doing. See if your guesses were correct. Now, there was a man in Jerusalem named Simeon. Simeon was a righteous and dedicated man. He was waiting for God to send the promised Messiah to deliver Israel. The Holy Spirit was upon him. The Spirit had told Simeon that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Christ. The Spirit led Simeon to the temple courtyard. When Jesus' parents brought him in to do what the law required, Simeon took Jesus in his arms. Simeon praised God. He said, Lord, you are the King over all. Now let me die in peace like you promised, for my eyes have seen your salvation. It will be a light to the Gentiles. It will be glory for your people Israel. Then Simeon blessed them. There was also a prophet named Anna. Anna was very old. She was married for seven years. Then her husband died. She had lived as a widow for 84 years. She never left the temple. She worshiped night and day, praying and fasting. At that moment, Anna came up to Jesus' family. She gave thanks to God, and she spoke about the child to all who were waiting for Jerusalem to be set free. Joseph and Mary did everything the law of the Lord required. Then they went back to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. And the child grew and became strong. He was filled with wisdom. The favor of God was upon him. Did you figure out who was in the drawings and what they were doing? Jesus' family went to the temple to give the offerings that the law required after a baby was born. At the temple, they met Simeon. Simeon trusted and followed God. God had promised Simeon that Simeon would not die until he saw the Christ, the Messiah. The Holy Spirit led Simeon to the temple that day where God's promise came true. Simeon saw Jesus, the Christ, the Messiah. Simeon praised God. What else happened? They also met a prophet named Anna. When Anna saw Jesus, she thanked God. She spoke about Jesus to everyone who was waiting on Jerusalem to be set free. God had promised Simeon he would live to see the Christ, the Messiah. Anna spent most of her life at the temple. God allowed both of them to see Jesus. They knew Jesus was the one God had promised to send. They praised God. Anna told people about Jesus. Now it's time for Eyes on Him, the part of our lesson when we focus on what the scriptures say about God. When you study the Bible, look for what the scripture reveals or shows about God. Then think about how that knowledge of God should impact, change, matter to your life. I see that God is sovereign. God has all control over all things for all time. He worked it out for Jesus' family, Simeon, and Anna to all be at the temple at the right time. God has control over everything. 
even in timing and location of people. I see that God keeps his promises. God promised to send a savior and he sent Jesus. God promised Simeon that he would get to see the Christ, the Messiah, and Simeon saw Jesus. God always keeps his promises. I see that Jesus was fully God and fully man. As a human, he grew and became strong. He was filled with wisdom. The favor of God was upon him. Jesus is also God's son and is fully God. I see that salvation is offered to everyone. God had a special relationship with the Israelites, with the Jewish people, but Jesus didn't come to only save the Jews. Simeon pointed out that Jesus also came for the Gentiles, for people who are not Jews. Everyone who trusts in Jesus will be saved. What else does this passage show you about God? How should you live differently because of who God is? And now it's time for the Wheel of Wonder! The time in our lesson when we spin the wheel and wonder. What will our Wheel of Wonder question be today? It landed on yellow. Our Wheel of Wonder question for today is, how did Simeon and Anna know who Jesus was? The verses specifically say that the Holy Spirit was on Simeon and directed Simeon to the temple that day. Although the verses don't say specifically what happened with Anna, we can conclude that God revealed the truth to her too, because that is actually how everyone comes to understand the truth about how to be saved. Anything you know about Jesus is by the grace of God. By God's grace, God helps us understand who He is and how we can be saved. You have heard that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, the Savior God promised to send. Do you understand? Do you believe? If so, it is because God has made it possible for you to understand and believe. How will you respond to God's grace and the good news about Jesus? Will you tell others who Jesus is? Will you ask God to help others understand how they can be saved? Mary, Joseph, and Jesus obeyed the law by bringing offerings to the temple. God was working in their lives to bring about His plans. At the same time, God was also working in the lives of Simeon and Anna. They saw Jesus at the temple, and they praised God for sending the child He had promised to send. Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah. He came to save us. Praise the Lord! Let's pray. Holy Father, thank you for sending Jesus. You always keep your promises. Please help us to understand who Jesus is and to trust in him. Please help us to tell others about Jesus. Everyone needs to know the good news that Jesus came. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Well, sweet friends, I love studying God's word with you today. There's no better time than Bible time. And I hope you'll join me next time for Bible time with Aunt JJ. Like this video? Subscribe to this channel and go to BibleTimeWithAuntJJ.com for free activities that go along with today's Bible study. It's Bible Time with Aunt JJ!